Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. This was the um, Casio Privia PXS 7000, Casio's latest and greatest, and boy, have they really upped their game with this. Anyway, that was the Hamburg Grand. So when you first turn this on, you get the Hamburg Grand, which is basically the Steinway D, the one that was built in Hamburg, Germany. And the purpose of this video is to compare this, which is really excellent, with Piano Tech version 8, which is also really excellent. But the primary differences between the two is that the Piano Tech is all modeled. In other words, there's no sounds to it at all that are built in. Everything that you play on that is modeled. So you're going through an algorithm. Everything is mathematically reproduced as you play it. And it is so good that Steinway and Sons actually endorsed it. And that's why you can see right over here, it says Steinway and Sons because they got that endorsement. So we're going to try and compare three different piano models and the Hamburg is one of them. The next one is the New York, which is also a Steinway D, but it's the one that's built in the New York factory. And the third is going to be a C Beckstein piano, which is the Beckstein D282 model. And we're going to compare this version of it, which is all sampled, versus the modeled piano. This should be quite interesting. So... As I started out, let's play it again so we can get your memory refreshed as to what it sounds like on here. And before I do that, let me just say that with any manufacturer, when you tune into a piano without making any changes, they try to put their best reproduction of it right there up front. So when I turn this on and I get the Privia Grand HG Hamburg Grand, this is what Casio feels is the best reproduction. Now, between the two, I'm not doing anything. I'm not altering anything. This is all default sounds. We're not doing any reverb. We're not doing any EQ. We're not doing anything different. Just what it comes with. So let's try it again. This is the Humber Grand on the Casio PXS 7000. Now, let's try the same thing with Piano Tech. Now, one thing I noticed is the Piano Tech version sounds brighter. And I can make the Casio sound brighter, or I can make the Piano Tech sound a little less bright. So what I'm going to do is go back to the Casio and we're going to choose the bright version of it. Let's see how that compares. All right, now that you heard that, that's the bright version of the Hamburg on the Casio. Let's go back to the Piano Tech version. Okay, so now you have an idea of what the two sound like, and it's really cool. They are both good, one being sample-based, of course, and the other being modeled. So the next premium piano on the PXS 7000, there's three of them. We're going to go to the next one, which is also a Steinway 
D. Okay, here is the New York version of the Steinway D on the Casio Privia PXS 7000. Let's do the same thing with the piano tech. So we're going to choose the New York version here. We're going to... Okay, here's the New York version. And we're going to go right to the New York Steinway Model D. And again, that sounds a little bit brighter than the Casio version. So let's go back to the uh, Casio and we're gonna change that to the New York Bright and let's see what that sounds like. cool now we're going to go to the piano tech version and try that again new york steinway d Now we're going to go back to the Casio and try the third premium piano on here, which is the Beckstein. Okay, and let me just get the Beckstein set up in advance here on the um, piano check as well. Beckstein. D282. And what's cool about the uh, latest version of the Piano Tech, they actually show you a picture of what you're playing and what kind of environment you're playing it in. I just thought that was such a nice touch to that. Anyway, we are currently on the Casio PXS 7000 with the Beckstein D282 Grand Piano. Now, let's try the same thing with the piano check. As with the other two models that we tried, the New York and the Hamburg Steinway D, where it, it sounds brighter on the piano check. So I'm going to go back to the Casio now and choose the, um, the bright version of it. Privia Grand Beckstein Bright. I'm going to do one more thing here, not the New York one, but the Hamburg one. I'm going to go back to that on the Privia. We're going to use the bright version. And I'm going to try and play the whole piece through, or at least more of it on that, on the Casio. And then we're going to do the same thing again with Piano Tech. And the reason we're going to do that with the Hamburg is because that is the premium 
piano that's going to be included with the Casio Privia PXS 7000, 6000, and 5000. To get to the other two models, the New York and the Beckstein, only the PXS 7000 offers that. So if you go with any of the three models, this is what you're going to expect. And here we go with the Privia Hamburg Grand. So let's try that out. Okay, so now you have a feel of what that sounds like. Let's now go to the Piano Tech and we're going to choose the Hamburg Steinway D, which is here. And let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so hopefully this has given you a good perspective or an idea of what the two sound like. They are both absolutely excellent. The Casio, of course, is samples, and it's very, very, very high quality samples, whereas the Piano Tech is mathematically modeled, and it is one of the best mathematically modeled pianos that I've heard with the Steinway D and the Beckstein, of course. So, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think was better? Leave your comments below, and I would love to hear your perspective, why you thought one was better than the other, and so on and so forth. So, that is so cool. Thanks again for watching this. Hope you hopefully you've gained something out of this piano man Chuck. Peace out. Thanks for watching.